Hi, I'm Nancy Stowes, food editor for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Welcome to CounterPoints. We are making a Thanksgiving stuffing uh, in this session uh, with bread cubes and apples and celery and other good things. Uh, what are the best ingredients for a basic stuffing recipe, whether you're putting it in the turkey or not? Um, well, I'll always start out with some celery and onions. And you can see here that Rebecca is sauteing up some uh, celery and onions there. And then uh, what we're going to put into this one is a little bit of diced apples. And uh, it just it gives it a nice little sweetness, a little bit of a texture to it. Um, there's uh, obviously other variations. Some people like to put mushrooms in, mm -hmm. maybe some carrots or something. Raisins yeah. sometimes. Raisins. Mm -hmm. And the bread, um, which is kind of the basic component of it, uh, dressing, is that, are those cubes uh, like crouton cubes or did you make your own bread, bread cubes? We made our own. We always have a lot of extra bread here. So we, what we do is just dice up the bread and uh, I like to uh, toast it a little bit to get some of the moisture on it. It might seem kind of funny to do that um, because we're going to add, you can see we're going to add stock to it. But then they soak it. up the flavoring. Right, right. So uh, having, uh, drying the bread out a little bit, it's a good idea. And, and what temperature, you spread it out in a big pan and, and dry it in the oven or do you dry it sitting out on the counter? Uh, in the oven, yeah. You can see there's a little bit of color on these. Um, I keep it at a low oven, maybe three and a quarter. And you just have to kind of watch it and just, you don't need a lot of color. You just want to dry it out. Okay. okay. So um, uh, Rebecca is going to put the bread crumbs, the bread cubes in there and we're going to mix that up. And then uh, we've got some, uh, this is uh, some chopped rosemary. So we're going to add a little chopped rosemary to it. And some chopped parsley. And uh, I think the key ingredient you, you must have in your dressing is fresh sage. That's beautiful so, sage. Is that a particular variety? This is, the, this is a variegated type of sage. Uh, I actually grew this in my garden, so I pulled it out of the garden today. And what, do, what we want to do on this is cut this uh, a chiffonade cut, which is very thin little strips. So I'm just going to slice this up that we're going to mix this in and then a little bit of chicken stock. If you don't have fresh sage from your garden, obviously you would, could use rubbed sa dried sage. Dried sage. And remember that for uh, dried herbs versus fresh herbs, you always use less dried because the flavor is concentrated. At about one third Email. About that, it, it it depends on is it ground, is it chopped, you know. So if it's ground, you use even maybe a quarter, uh, where if, as if it's chopped, it might be a third to three, you know, one third as much. Uh, don't forget a little bit of salt and pepper in. It. So then, when this is um, all mixed up and ready to go, you put it in a casserole dish in the oven, if you want. Yes. Yes, just uh, pop it into the, you know, put it in a casserole. I would cover it with foil and just bake it that way until it's heated through thoroughly. Uh, my preference is to uh, stuff the turkey with it. Okay. I, I don't think, I, I think you get a better flavor that way because you have all those juices from the turkey that are commingling with the uh, dressing and it just, it has a much richer flavor to it. And then you would um, have to roast the turkey a little bit longer to make sure the stuffing got up to the proper temperature. Correct. Um, about uh, 10 to 12 minutes a pound for your turkey if it's uh, not stuffed, but about 12 to 15 minutes a pound if it is stuffed.